In this next exercise, we're going to build and configure a Windows Server 2003 virtual machine. We'll start by logging directly into one of our ESX servers. We're going to select our ESX server from the inventory panel and right click to choose New Virtual Machine. We'll make this a typical virtual machine. For the virtual machine name, we should choose something which is both logical and contains no spaces. In this case, we'll choose W2K3. We're going to place this virtual machine on our local storage volume. Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition. The default choice in this case is the correct choice. One processor. We'll assign one gigabyte of RAM. We'll go with the default choice for virtual machine network because we have not created any additional networks yet. Eight gigs is fine for the disk. And finish. What we've just accomplished is actually provisioning the shell of our virtual machine. It has no operating system. What we're about to do is deploy a Windows Server 2003 operating system using something called the Ultimate Deployment Appliance. We're going to launch a virtual machine remote console window. We'll power the virtual machine on and we'll watch it pixie boot. We're going to choose W2K3S, Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition and we'll watch the deployment take place. We're using the Ultimate Deployment Appliance available from www.ultimatedeployment.org to deploy both Windows and Linux operating systems including the ESX server itself. 